Hello everybody and welcome to part 26. In this part we're going to be looking at just making a little, tiny little adjustment to the gun that's going to make a big difference to the overall feel of our game. So I'm pretty happy with our gun at the moment as it stands, it creates these, these cool bullets, it's got a nice bit of screen shake, uh, there's a nice round of spread on the bullet, a nice sound effect, and uh, we've got this nice hit spark as well when we hit the walls, which you'll notice as well, it's actually a little bit different. Um, I I, I want to change that a little bit from how it was in the previous episodes. I'm still working on it exactly, so that'll be something we look at um, possibly in the next part. Um, but I've already created one that I, I already think is a bit better looking than the little hit spark we had before. And we'll be talking a little bit about that and why probably in the next part, okay? But for this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the gun have a little bit of a kickback. So when we fire it, we actually get pushed a little bit in the direction, uh, in the opposite direction to which we're shooting, okay? Because one of the major problems is even though we've got this really nice, cool, fun gun, um, it's a little bit too fun and good in that there's no reason for us to ever not be pressing it, really, other than getting sick of the sound effect, I guess. Um, so when you give give the player a really cool ability, you give them a really cool gun, you want to give them a reason to not press it, uh, not press that gun button. Otherwise, you know, you, you may as well not have the gun button. It may as well just sort of just be shooting 100% of the time, right? mechanically at least so we're going to add something that just makes it a little bit more interesting it's not necessarily going to make the gun worse but it is going to make deciding whether or not to shoot it a bit more interesting okay so i'm going to open up O gun and i'm going to come into the begin step where we handle all of our shooting okay so this is the area uh where we actually create a screen shake we create the bullet and we actually fire a bullet so when we fire a bullet what we want to do is add um, quite similarly to how, you know, with the gun we give it a little uh, kickback uh, with the recoil, we're going to do something quite similar to the player, okay? So just after we create our bullet in this section, I'm going to write with O player, okay? Because that's the object we're going to be working with. And now what you might be thinking we can do is just do something like, oh, horizontal speed. Uh, like plus equal and then something to like a, a length direct or something to get the direction But the problem is because of how our horizontal speed works in the player We're actually setting our horizontal speed every frame. We're not like adding to it We're not accelerating our movement over time Okay, and that limits us in some regards just because of the simplicity of the system that we have for the player So if we tried to change our horizontal speed directly um, What would happen is we would change it here and then before, or before it would actually have any impact, it would just get set back to being whatever our arrow keys or whatever we're telling us to move, okay? So what we want to do instead is we're going to create a little, uh, an extra variable that we add on top of our horizontal speed every frame, and then we can set that to be um, uh, our little extra bonuses for kickbacks and stuff. So we're going to call a variable gun kick x, okay? So on our x-axis we're going to have a kick in that direction and I'm going to uh, set this to equal length de x uh, 1.5 comma uh, other dot image angle minus 180 close bracket okay so if we remember how length de x works it's returning sort of the x component of trying to move in a certain direction at a certain speed okay so we're trying to move at 1.5 pixels in the opposite angle to the gun okay so our gun's angle is set through image angle um, we have to refer to other because we're inside the player and we subtract 180 to get the opposite direction to whatever that angle happens to be okay now I'm going to do so the same thing with the y now doing it with the y is optional we'll talk a bit more about that later um, but we're going to do it for now so you can see how it works. I'm going to set this one to 1 because uh, I want the effect to be slightly lesser for that to stop you being able to like float in the air and that kind of thing. Other dot image angle minus 180. Okay. Again, be very careful here when using things like this with just the subtle, subtle uh, one letter difference between the variables. Make sure you get the letters right. So gun, gun kick x, length de x, gun kick y, and length de y. Okay, with that done, we need to come to the player. We need to actually initialize those variables because they don't exist anywhere. We just made them up, right? So gun kick x can equal zero and gun kick y can equal zero. Simple stuff, okay? Then let's come to uh, come back to our player and come to the step event of our player where we decide our movement, okay, which is here. So as you can see, what I was saying before, horizontal speed here is set equal to move, which is whether or not, which is zero minus one or one times our walk speed. So if we were just setting a horizontal speed, this would just get overwritten um, every single frame, okay? So it wouldn't really work. 
Uh, it might work with vertical speed because at least our vertical speed is based on whatever our vertical speed currently is. So you can affect vertical speed that way, but we may as well be consistent in how we're doing a system. So that's all I'm going to wrap these in brackets um, just so that we know that that's the section that would generally work out for horizontal speed. And then after we've worked that out, we're adding our bonus, which is our gun kick X. And then after we've done that, we want to set gun kick X to be zero. So we're only ever going to apply it for one frame at a time when it's set to something. Okay. And then similar in here, gun kick Y equals zero. And on the end of this, we'll wrap this in brackets and add gun kick Y. So let's run this now and take a look at what this has actually done. The idea behind this is by having a gun kick, um, it changes a few things based on what direction we're shooting. So if we're running and shooting to the... Let's kill this guy, let's make sure we don't die or anything. Let's kill a couple of these. Just gonna clear this out. Maybe we should have done this in level one. Okay, so by running to the right, or well, just running in either direction and firing, we actually move a bit slower when we're shooting. So that gives us a reason to maybe consider not shooting. But we also gives us the added benefit of shooting behind you, making you move just a little bit faster. And also, when you jump, if you shoot at the same time you're jumping, especially if you do it right at the same time you jump, you can jump extra high now. Which is cool, because in our level design we had some platforms we couldn't actually reach before. And now by shooting down, we can actually get there. But you have to be careful with that one, because uh, it can allow you to float, it can start to become unpredictable how high your player is able to jump. And that might cause you problems in level design. So that one's kind of optional. Also, shooting upwards would make you fall faster, and there's a thing as well. And also just if you're like on a ledge or whatever and you're shooting and like you might have to stop shooting because otherwise you're going to fall off the ledge and that just makes that a little bit more interesting as well. As I said, you might prefer to do it with just the horizontal component of this, in which case you can just remove the references to gun kick Y and where we set gun kick Y and like the, the horizontal component will work just fine and it'll look just fine and it'll still take the angle into account so it'll be more powerful shooting this way than it would be shooting up for example, and it'll all work just fine. There we go, just a little thing that we can add to the game that makes a big difference to the overall feel, makes a big difference to how uh, your players think about uh, the gun itself. One thing I suppose you might notice as well, that we might also take a little look at later, is that when we're shooting, um, uh, it's also affecting our direction, okay? Because if we're, at the moment our um, facing direction is based entirely on uh, which way we're moving, um, we're, uh, are based on our horizontal speed, so when our horizontal speed is uh, left, it's, it's actually making us look for that way as well. So you might want to change it to base uh, your player's um, uh, sorry, image X scale based on the direction of the gun, uh, rather than the direction of the um, rather than the direction of movement, and then maybe give them like a, a strafing animation as well. So that's something you might want to look into, but it's also something we might cover in the next couple of parts as we just start to clean up. We're just, at the moment, as I say, the game's mostly finished, we're just going to tie up some of these ends, we're going to uh, just make things just a little bit more polished, just little things like what you've seen here, okay? So thank you for watching, there's only going to be a few more parts left of this series, I hope you've been enjoying it, I'll catch you guys next time. Of course we wouldn't be here at all, let alone on part 26, if it weren't for these lovely people supporting me via Patreon. Thank you in particular, and in no particular order, to the following. Andrew Gilbert, Arthur Kyle Vanderley, Bowser the Dog, Daka Dondigo, Dan, Harold Gidry, James Grumley, Jason McMillan, Jason B, Kimo Savalampi, Marcus, Mark Lintz, Matt Coate, Michael Ward, Mike KB, Nick Slabish, Owen Morgan, Patrick Guffey, Penguin Muffins, Robert Churches, Rovan Darlin, Run, Sahib Singh Dillon, Jonathan, Stephen Hagen, TJ, Turtle Time, Zephyr Flame, and Zinan May. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for their ongoing support, and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you all next time.